Russians left dozens of potential naval targets in Crimea for attacks by the Ukraine. During 27 months of attacks on the Russian Black Sea Fleet in occupied Crimea, Ukraine sank or seriously damaged more than a dozen large warships, a full third of the fleet. Concerned about the losses, Russian naval commanders ordered the surviving ships to retreat and relocate to supposedly safer ports in southern Russia, Forbes writes. However, the invaders left behind dozens of smaller minesweepers, land craft and patrol boats off the coast of the occupied peninsula, the workhorses of daily operations around Crimea. Now the Ukrainian armed forces have turned their deadly attention to these smaller targets. The last attack was perhaps the most costly for what remained of the Black Sea Fleet in Crimea. Early in the morning of May the 30th, the Ukrainian naval strike force sent its Magura V-5 unmanned boats to Uzkaya Bay in the west of the peninsula. Russian planes tried to intercept the drones, but at least a few got through and reached the bay. Frightened Russian gunners opened fire, spraying tracers indiscriminately and not stopping the raid, the newspaper writes. As a result of this attack, two KS-701 boats sank and two more were damaged. As noted, this is a fifth of about 20 KS-701s. It is noteworthy that on the same day, the Ukrainian armed forces damaged two Russian ferries, the main mission of which is to transport goods through the Kirsch Strait to eastern Crimea. Although the destroyed KS-701s do not have heavy weapons, they are still useful as they were used for logistical support and patrolling the waters near the temporarily occupied peninsula. Journalists described the KS-701 as water vans for delivering goods from southern Russia to Crimea. They do not carry supplies but carry them the last few kilometers to their final destination. So while Ukrainian cruise missiles and ATACMS disrupt the main supply lines to Crimea, large landing ships ferries, bridges and railways, Ukrainian unmanned boats prey on delivery ships. Thus, Ukrainian forces are cutting off Russian logistics in Crimea on both sides. The publication concludes. One person was killed and 24 others were wounded in a mass shooting at a birthday party in Akron, Ohio on Sunday, local police said. The identity of the 27-year-old killed man has not been revealed yet. The wounded ranged in age from 19 to 43, Police Chief Brian Harding said. The Akron Police Department received reports of shooting after midnight Sunday morning. Shortly after those calls came in, the call center received notifications from local hospitals that multiple persons were arriving in the emergency departments with gunshot wounds, the police department said in a statement. The shooting took place during a large birthday party that earlier in the night had more than 200 people in attendance, Harding said in a news conference. In the shooting's aftermath, authorities found the scene littered with spent shell casings that stretched down a whole block, he said. Based on the layout of the spent shell, it appears consistent with someone driving by shooting out of car. We believe that some individuals at the party may have returned fire based on physical evidence at the scene, the police chief said. Two handguns and several dozen casings were recovered. Harding urged the community members to help identify the suspect or suspects. We believe there are people in the community this evening who saw something or know something and we're asking them to come forward, he said, adding that there were dozens of people at the party at the time of the shooting, and potentially over 100 people may have witnessed the incident. Thank you.